Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to episode 103 of Bird Squawk. All right, welcome back, everybody. Not a whole lot going on in the world of the Eagles today and this week, but, I mean, the Combine started today. I don't know when actual stuff starts, but the next couple of days, that'll get going. We can look deeper into that, see who the Eagles are interviewing, see a little bit more into that. That's kind of what we've been waiting for until we get into the draft as we are now a less than a month away no we're not not less than a month away but it's next month free agency march 16th yeah so we're eagerly awaiting and anticipating what could go down when that date gets here yeah i mean that's pretty exciting there are two big things happening uh free agency obviously huge definitely gonna be as we at least i assume active in the free agency uh, market this year and the draft which is the big question mark um what they're gonna do if they're gonna be drafting with those picks are they gonna be trying to make a move with those picks or what and that's kind of where the question is today howie's press conference i think is tomorrow they talked to him at hmm. the uh combine so uh you know we'll hear some stuff tomorrow afternoon possibly yeah i mean it'll be interesting uh he'll gaslight a lot of things he won't say <laughs> much of anything's going on um i don't know it uh, to me most of the question is and it's the question that has been discussed a lot recently and a little bit on this show but i want to hear from you guys kind of gauge where people are at is it jalen hurts or is it the field and is the field going out and getting, at this point, you would say Russell Wilson or taking someone in the draft. Where do you guys think, what do you think is the best step for this team, not just next year, but for the future? Let's see. There's a lot of uh, Malik Willis yeah, buzz kind of percolating Yeah, right okay, let, let's stomp that right away. <laughs> what would be the purpose of that? He is Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Why would you go out and get Malik Willis? You know, I, I discussed this last week. There's going to be all kinds of stories and all kinds of rumors going around until this whole free agency and draft night is over. I mean, the Malik Willis thing is, he could be a talent, but he's a project. He's like a Trey Lance type of thing that he is like, you're going to have to let him develop, let him play. That's the big thing with the Niners right now. They want to move on from Jimmy G, but they, I don't think they think Trey Lance is ready, and they're kind of like stuck. You know, we kind of heard today... You know, the the Colts, they're really not coming out and giving uh, our man a, Which is crazy. a vote of confidence it is either. crazy. Yeah. I don't know if that's all coming from the owner, but really, I mean, the GM kind of said they're still evaluating that position. It, it It is really crazy how much he has fallen off, where we were defending him, and where he is now. Just the disaster that he has become. Just... Uh, not that he had a bad season last year, but still just one season after such high expectations out there and truly it, looking back at it, kind of fleecing the Colts as how he is good at doing with the Vikings in the past and now the Colts getting first round picks for quarterbacks that are a little suspect. It's very interesting, obviously. See where maybe he ends up. He is going to get a job somewhere else. I mean, but... the thing is, there are a lot of teams that are looking for quarterbacks. Yeah. I mean, you could see him coming to, Wa yes, exactly. Washington potentially. Steelers. Yep. Niners. Yep. Uh, He's definitely going to get another shot. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, there are a lot of people looking for quarterbacks, and there's a lot of quarterbacks that could possibly be shifting uh location yeah i mean russ is kind of like gaslighting too he uh i read something just before we got on when i was still at work that he was on an interview recently and said that he uh he wants to like, he's in seattle he's content with seattle i don't know it's weird obviously all the conspiracy theories are everywhere i was talking to him all right so he took everything out of his social media but he put a picture of him in high school and he went to high school in virginia so that ties him to the commanders but at the pro bowl he signed the eagles hat for that kid and that's the only thing he signed so that ties him to the eagles so it's it's that time of year where everyone has thoughts everyone has schemes of what's going to happen and it really is exciting to see what is going to happen as this is an exciting part of the year yeah i mean and then you know you throw arizona in there with kyler murray who yeah. like feels like his feelings got hurt 
and it's a contract extension time, you know, that rookie deal's coming up. He wants them to make a commitment to him. I mean, I just don't know. I don't know, you know, that that is such a slippery slope committing to somebody. It's kind know? of one of those things that the Eagles did it with Carson Wentz. It's kind of just like who is up next to top it. It's not really what should he get. It's kind of like... It's always, just like every big contract in sports, it's just that, like, step up that each person that is due gets the biggest contract. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I mean, this is the crazy time of the year, for sure. And we're excited. Yeah, obviously. And just one other little shout-out, you know, big big weekend this weekend, the Philly Card Show. <laughs> uh, we're going to be down there Sunday. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys signing autographs. We're showing up to get my Brandon Graham jersey signed by the man who, like, brought me the Super Bowl Lombardi trophy. Can't wait. And I am getting, once again, Boston Scott. Got to support my guy when I can. And Shady McCoy. Excited to meet him and get his autograph. So, yeah, I mean, that'll be something fun. Feed that Eagles juice a little bit as, I mean, even though the Sixers juice is pretty good. <laughs> if you're a basketball fan, get hype. And then the Phillies, well, they're a train wreck. Well, you see us down there, hey, give a shout-out, you know, hey, and get some feedback on this uh, channel, man. Just just feedback with us. We we love to hear what you people think. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, you kind of know where we're at. I We're kind of leaning towards either Jalen or this Russell Wilson thing is really interesting. It's very interesting. I really don't see it happening, but I think if you can't get that done, you go with Jalen next year. But what do you guys think? I think a lot of you guys are obviously going to be in support of Jalen Hurts, which is okay, which is fine. And I understand that you see another year of him, see what happens. But it really is interesting if they go out yeah, and get I mean, someone like Russ. I mean, I'm totally committed to Jalen if I if, if we need to be. Yeah. But if there is an opportunity to go get Russ, I mean, I think you got to pull that trigger. Yeah, it just depends on, you know? on what. Look what the Sixers did with Harden. Yeah. I mean, that's going to, two games, looks good. I don't know. It 100% it, it <clears throat> makes the Eagles better if they go out and get Russell Wilson. It does. If you want to debate that or not, it makes them a better team. It just depends kind of what the asking price is. And we've ran through a couple of things. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, there's, who knows? There's, there's guys saying crazy stuff like cowherd are you kidding me four first round picks <laughs> yeah. and darius slay yeah. get that out of here yeah but like yeah, the keep, pro keep stepping on that but one. the pro football focus one that we keep bringing up is the first round pick this year first round pick next year and then a third round pick that's something you gotta debate that's something yeah, you gotta I mean, pull the trigger we still off. can build our defense with our other that's picks. the main thing they yeah. gotta build the defense and that's kind of where we want to see what the Combine's doing see who they're talking right. to even though they never talk to the people that they take they just kind of gauge kind of what's going on uh also note i saw that i don't know when they don't know when but they don't know they're gonna take a running back which in this year's draft which is interesting at some point there's rumors that they're yeah. gonna be in the market for a running back who knows uh we've kind of talked about miles sanders with injury issues and that running backs one of those positions in the league that quick turnaround and if you can get a fresh legs in there yeah, we'll have to see. You know, another interesting thing, uh, the league came out, leaked a little bit of these uh, out-of-the-country games. Yeah, you know, Germany. There, there's a possibility that that Arizona game could get moved to Mexico City, and we could be the guys playing Arizona in Mexico City. Oh, well, isn't it? Already, what's it? Where is it at now? We were going to play them in Arizona, but they, oh, they are yeah, I they saw are, that a team that's potentially yep. going to be in Mexico, and people are thinking it's going to be when we play them. Oh, that'd so, be interesting. Uh, yeah. I know that the Jags are in London again or whatever. The Bucks are playing in Germany this year. A lot going on. Speaking of the Bucks, hopefully some good news for the Eagles. They released that 2023. They're bringing the cream circles back. Maybe 2023, those Kelly Greens can get back that on the field. Would, that would be sweet. That would be very sweet. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot, not a lot going on. A lot of small stuff, just picking your mind, seeing what you guys think. And let us know. Like we said, let yeah. us know what you guys think. Jump in and comment, man. We want to hear from everybody. It's going to ramp up quickly. It, it's already March. I can't yeah. believe it's March already. It truly is getting closer to the draft. Like I said, the combine, next couple of days. Free agency is going to hit. That's going to be huge when that starts and 
we'll kind of see where it goes and goes from there. So yeah, like I said, not a whole lot going on this week. Thank you guys always for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at birds underscore squawk. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Fly, girls, fly. Go birds.